What we're going to be doing today is chatting about my new Optic, the Strike Eagle 3 to 18 by 44 that I've put on my AR-15 and why I have decided to take off my old Strike Eagle 1 to 6 um, that we can see here and here and uh, why I've decided to run this over this essentially and the reason for that is is quite simple. First of all, uh, the Strike Eagle 1 to 6 this was my first optic from Vortex, so this sort of got me started with the brand. I was super new to firearms, didn't know what the hell was going on. But this had just come out and it was at a great price point and it was almost like too good to be true. So I bought one of these for my AR-15 and this was also the first rifle I owned. Yes, I had an AR before I had a bolt gun, so I'm a little bit backwards. And then I realized I really like bolt action rifles more um, than, than gas guns. However, if you have a 6.5 gas gun, Tell me about it, please. I want to see, post a picture down below. So this has the AR B BDC, let me get my face out the way so I can show you that, uh, reticle from Vortex. And um, it's pretty cool, but it's calibrated to the 223 caliber. So the sort of hash marks on the glass edge reticle is really designed to, to follow the trajectory of a 223 caliber bullet. So yes, if you're only going to be running on an AR or a or a bolt gun 223, that's perfect. But again, I want to reach out a little bit further. And um, so the 3 to 18 spectrum gives me sort of that dual use capability. I can still use it in a tactical style shooting environment if I wanted to shoot an IPSC all the way on three. And um, if I want to engage things a little bit further away, it does give me the option of going all the way up to 18. What's really nice about the um, the Strike Eagle uh, 3 to 18, it's got the EBR4 reticle, so it's a little bit nicer. Let me show you. It's not. Rifle safe as always. Let me see if I can show you that. This is gonna be difficult to do. Hmm. Okay, camera. Work with me, baby. This is actually a pretty cool indication of how just how clear this glass is. I've zoomed the camera in all the way onto that. And that looks pretty cool. So I can give you guys sort of an idea of what that reticle looks like. Uh, anyway, welcome back. That's really the main reason I've decided to do that. The, 3 to 18 is going to give me a little bit more versatility. If I want to go out hunting, I can use it for that. If I want to swap it out to a different rifle, I can. And similar to this, it's priced at an unbelievable 9,999 Rand. That's basically what you can pick this up for. Uh, super good value. They're in stock now to local Vortex agents, so check with them. And uh, this will get you in the game. Um, how are anything? This will run. The reticle is obviously in the second focal plane, uh, it's scopes based in MOA, it's got pretty audible clicks which I like, um, it's, it's a vortex, what more than, what, what else do you want me to say? I'm running it in my American Defense cantilever mount which I really really like and uh, let's close that back up. Hopefully I'm going to be able to get that all zeroed up and do some shooting with it in the next two weeks. I've got a match coming up this weekend which I'm really excited for. I haven't shot a PRS match in quite some time so that's going to be a lot of fun. And um, yeah, I look, can't wait to shoot this, show you guys more about that uh, and how it compares against something a little bit more expensive. So we're going to probably put that head to head against the Viper Gen 2 PST and see if the PST is twice as good for because it's essentially double the price. <clears throat> the PST Gen 2 does have some other advantages over this being first focal plane obviously so that you got to factor that in. Anyway guys, um, sorry that I lost my footage for the unboxing, it was really cool or well, I thought it, at least it would have been cool and um, I really look forward to, to heading down range with this beast and um, seeing what you can do. Oh, this is sweet. I'm actually going to see if this sort of quick view throw lever fits on this. Anyway, next week we'll be reviewing a hat from MDT, as it's the nicest hat I've ever owned. So, stick around. This channel's going places.